Golden Diagonals Band 9 is based on a fragment of an orphrey held by the Victoria and Albert Museum in the UK. It's dated to the 12th century and it's believed that it was woven in Palermo in Sicily. It's quite an interesting piece because we've got in the centre a combination of brocading and 3-1 broken to a double face, meaning that the weaver was choosing whether to have white or red threads on the top surface of the band, passing the brocade threads over the white to hide them, leaving just gold and red on the top surface. Then at the edges of the band, you've got a warp twining motif, this one to be exact, which also is brocaded, but the turning sequence for this is vastly less complex. So the weaver was having to deal with two different structures at once, while also producing complex scrolling designs with strange beasts and flowers and all sorts of other things. It's very much woven by a, an experienced weaver. The design for band nine was one of the harder ones for me when I was graphing them. So a lot of the other bands I looked at had reasonably intact designs on them with not a vast amount of damage. But band nine, I focused on the warp twining borders of it. Most of the brocade threads are missing due to wear and tear and the threads that passed over them were also missing. So I had to focus on the back of the band to work out what was going on. So I first charted out, based on the photographs, the back of the band, and then used that to work out what the pattern was on the front. Then I compared that with the band itself and look for the areas where there were missing threads because that told me where the brocade originally passed under. I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. In low light conditions, it really does glow and reflect every scrap of light you shine at it. 